Today, I have the front bulkheads cut, bent, shaped. We're going to assemble them and show you what they look like. This is the front main bulkhead. We've talked about the rear main bulkhead. These are the front bulkheads aside from the main bulkhead. First piece of the bulkhead, and it's already <laughs> folded here. That's one piece that's been folded. something like this. I'm pretty proud of my geometry here. I uh, <laughs> That worked on paper. I was kind of surprised it worked in the real world to get that dog bone in there like that. Got the frame rail. Uh, main frame rail piece is already on the other side. I'm going to put a little bracket here. Use my jig table the way it was intended. <laughs> Take that hole right there that I have on either end that's perpendicular to the top. You just put a bracket there to hold that in place. You recognize my bracket? Number two on the uh, pedal bracket. That's my bracket. That's in place. Part number two. Second part here. This is again one piece. It's been cut and bent, but it's all one piece. Rack and pinion goes on these brackets right here, and notice the right, the left and right rack and pinion mount are not symmetric to each other. Notice this is in a little farther than this side. It's up a little farther. Uh, that's to accommodate the rack and pinion mounts. Piece is going to go in here like so. Dog bones go in here, line it up this way with the firewall. Dog bone right here comes in here, which now locates this. This one as well. Done, done, done. These pieces right here that actually hold a rack and pinion back into a dog bone there. Which lines that up like that. Dog bone in here lines that up like that. And in. Okay. Top main frame rails. I'm going to go in that slot right here. In this slot right here. Lines up like that. Lines up like that. I do. Same thing on the other side. edges line up nicely. That's in and done. Uh, let's see, that's that side. Dog bone here, dog bone here. That lines that up. Same way on the other side. Lines that up. quarter by inch and a half. Secondary frame rails. Like so. These are our plates that uh, is on every end of the, every A-arm. 
they're going to go see the slot here and the thickness here and one rivet goes through all of them and catches it those are going to go like so and like so right here that's for the upper A arm front mount same thing happens back here right here for the lower mount the lower A arm same thing happens here and same thing happens here this piece right here that I was happy that the geometry worked because it's at a funny angle we talked earlier about the uh, the rod end and how if it's a double knuckled U-joint on the steering you have to support it in the middle this is that oversized three quarter inch rod end we talked about goes in like so this is the double D steering shaft it's a 36 inch piece we'll cut it to fit but just to give you an idea this big hole right here can you come down and, and look at this this big hole right here the double D goes through it hold on just a second let me get something else the rack and pinion I'm going to use this right here to represent the rack and pinion it's going to sit right in here like this. The knuckle for the rack and pinion is right about here. The double D shaft comes up through this big hole right here, through here, and up to the double jointed uh, uh, U joint that connects all of it like that. The upper uh, frame rails stop at this point right here, but there's an extension off of them. Now this particular extension is for a Countach. I doubt if we're going to be able to use this exact one on this car, but it'll give you an idea and a starting point. It's got uh, locations for Countach grills and that kind of thing we're probably not going to use on this car. But just to give you an idea of what happens, goes on there like that, bolts into the frame rail here and here, comes out the same way on either side. There's a aluminum, the three quarter by inch and a half aluminum comes across here to join them. This piece right here, the body, there's a, a, a flat edge on the body inside the uh, front trunk that this goes to to support and fasten the body. This also provides a fastening point for the front trunk hatch, uh, latch, which in that mistake reminds me, no more cards and letters. We're not holding the steering column in with a hose clamp. It is a muffler clamp. A few hundred pounds of holding power difference in the two. I misspoke on the last video. Anyway, this comes and in, in the, the hatch release uh, gives it a, a hard point to mount to there. Uh, bracket like this goes in that notch right there like so that's the air conditioner condenser similar bracket goes in this notch which is the radiator bracket this bracket is all one piece it is actually the, uh, the radiator bracket. It holds the fan in place and it is the fan shroud as well for the radiator. But uh, that's a general idea. Once we get the body, we'll probably fine tune that just a little bit. I think that odd shape, I think that's a uh, condenser line hose that goes through there. I don't remember why that thing shaped that funny now. This right here, the spare tire goes right here. 
Uh, I'll hold it out here for a rev nut. That's what holds the spare tire in place. There's two holes here, two rev nuts. The spare tire is the size of the front tire and wheel. It is a full size spare tire and wheel, and it is the wheel that is actually on the car, but it is the front one. The rear one's a little bit larger. If you have a flat, you can run the little bit smaller one on one side for a while, no problem. But anyway, that's the reason there's two holes here. This is, if you do have a, uh, a flat and have to put the big rear tire back in here, you need to move three quarters of an inch forward to that hole right there. Everything is looking good. I'm very pleased with it. Everything lines up everything. This right here lines this up. This lines this up. Everything is done. Uh, this right here, I have designed it so that that is absolutely flush with the front of the, the chassis jig, which it is. So, very happy with it. There's another bar that comes like this that I have not put in yet, not cut out, but that bar uh, does numerous things. The shock mount goes right here. That's what this, this tower is for. It catches the shock, which does this. This supports the shock. Additionally, comes up, supports all the dash, plus comes out and supports the bars that go out to support that big door hinge. A arm points here and here, A arm points here and here. It's going to be a rack and pinion arm come out just about like that. Done all the geometry on this thing, and all of those points are exactly where I want them. This is starting to look pretty cool. I, I really like it. Let's see if I've got any other goodies back here that I wanted to show you today. I guess not. I got one M&M &M here. It's got aluminum dust all over it. I don't think so. That's it this time.